all right hello and welcome back to another video today i'm going to be playing the strv 122b plss now the one really cool thing about this tank other than the fact that it has great mobility great armor and a great gun is that it's getting its research cost halved in the next major update because it is going to be folded in with the strv 122a now this means that uh, yeah basically it's going to take half as long to research this tank and uh, yeah you're just going to get a really strong lineup with it and i'm just going to check it out this game just to see how it is because uh, yeah i'm quite excited for this change all right we are here on big arden which means that we're gonna have to uh, try and secure the a point here problem is team enemy team is already there and uh, we're only facing russia today so it's probably something like a bvm or maybe like a bmp 2m or something but you know i guess we'll just have to uh, live with the fact that they'll probably capture the zone before us now, uh, I guess what I can try and do is just hold W here. It looks like our teammate just saved us by shooting the tank who was, uh, yeah, right in front of me. We're just going to quickly get rid of the driver of that T-80 there. We'll probably get it back by the time I push around this corner, but I don't think that'll matter because uh, we'll just quickly execute him before he has the chance to react. Now we do hear another tank somewhere behind here. I don't quite know where he is. There he is. Hello. Let's just quickly get rid of him. And there we go. There is the capture zone secured at the start here. Oh, there we go. We just uh, barely managed to get that enemy tank there on the B point, which does give us an additional kill for today. It looks like there's another tank like right there, so we'll just quickly get rid of him. A bit of trees here, so I can't quite see everything that's going on here, but I think that's all the tanks that we see for now. Now what's really interesting is that there's no friendlies here, but I hear tanks. So that can't be a good thing. Um, I hear them coming up behind me. Happened to me. I couldn't capture the point there. Uh, they just barely made it in before I had the chance to do that, so that is, uh, you know, not too nice of them. I would have loved to have captured his own, but uh, yeah, sadly, it looks like they won't give me the chance to do so. Now we do hear like a tank right in front of us here. So, uh, you know, maybe we go deal with it, maybe we don't. I don't know exactly where he's going, but it looks like he's going to try and come up behind me now. So I'm going to have to turn the tank around. Just, whoa, hello. Uh, that is a tank. Um, probably ping that on the map for our friendly right here, just so that he knows where there are potential tanks. I don't want to get shot from behind though. But um, you know, hopefully our Abrams friend here can help us out a bit. And there we go, excellent. Looks like he did. And that is what you call excellent teamwork. Now we do hear another tank here behind us, but I think it's dead now since our friendly Abrams has dealt with it. So maybe we'll try and slowly move towards their spawn now because it looks like we already have a very good control over the A point here. And the B point and C point also seem to be under our control. Now, I do hear... Someone, like, right in front of us here. I don't know what they're doing all the way out here, but... You know, I guess everyone gets to play the game however they want. Maybe I'll just, uh, go behind... This wall right here. I don't know what this guy's planning on doing. I'll just quickly ping him on the map for my team here, just so that they don't uh, run into his gun. But I don't really know where he's looking. Let's be a bit more careful here now, as we don't know where these tanks are. But I think since he's getting shot now, we can just safely push him. I was wrong. But uh, I was right because I'll just get my kill stolen by an M1A1. And then I guess we can go to the enemy spawn. Alright, there you go. Just quickly finish off the Panzer there. I guess he uh, made the unfortunate decision to spawn in. The Abrams next to us has unfortunately died to somebody. Which uh, is, a, yeah, not great since I don't really know where they were shot from. It sounds like there's a tank somewhere front of me over here. Sadly, there is like a bush here, so I can't really see him. There we go. Looks like we're a bit more... Oh my god, he's right there. Let's just quickly back up. 
I don't know how to deal with this tank right here. It doesn't look like a T-72B3 though, which is the tank that killed the Abrams. Instead, this just looks like a regular T-72 AV terms. So, I don't really know what to make of that. I guess maybe we could just try and get lucky like that. That always uh, is a thing we can do, but now I guess we kind of just have to sit here because moving up anymore would probably result in us getting shot from their spawn. Alright, now we do hear something like a T-80 in front of us. Uh, so we do have to, uh, yeah, watch out for that. Doesn't seem like, you know, I, ex I exist. Maybe I'll keep it that way, or maybe not. I think I'll just have to finish off his, uh, barrel there. We do see another tank, like, right here. So I'll just quickly get rid of him before he does anything too crazy to us. And, uh, I guess then we can try and move up and kill this T-80, I was about to say, but, uh, it looks like we're gonna have to deal with that BMP-2M first. And I'm not sure if I'll make it on time for this T-80, because he's popped a lot of smoke here, so I can't really see where he is. But uh, there we go, looks like we do get a clear shot on him now. But so does that T-72, so let's just quickly reload here. Come on. There we go, and now let's quickly reverse back into cover so that we don't get shot. Well, looks like a BMP spawned here and has unfortunately killed my uh, friendly Abrams. He is sadly now dead though, because he did decide to move a bit. So maybe we'll be able to uh, get a kill on this Pansir or Tunguska here. But uh, unfortunately I can't see if he's getting shot or not. So uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to uh, yeah, survive. And it looks like now there is a uh, BMP2M who has spawned, so we can't really be too pushy with him, but I think we'll just have to have our friendlies deal with him. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Unfortunately, we didn't quite have the angle on him, so we do not get ourselves an 11th kill. And there we go. I guess in the end we got, uh, 10 kills, one capture zone. Oh, nearly a new captain. He had some, like, 2,300 spawn points. So, uh, yeah, in general, a very, very good result. Now, if you did enjoy that battle just there, it would certainly make me very happy if you would uh, subscribe to the channel because we have actually recently passed 2,000 subscribers, which is really nice. But, uh, you know, we're still, in comparison to other channels, relatively small, so any help would be appreciated. All right, for our next battle here, we are on Fields of Normandy. Now, this map here, top tier, isn't quite something that I enjoy playing just because, in my opinion, it's a bit too close uh, quartered and unfortunately I guess we shot a bit too low on that tank there so we uh, don't end up getting a kill. There is a TAD BVM right in front of us so yeah we do kind of have to deal with that there so we'll just quickly do that and we'll just back into cover. Looks like there is another T80 right here who has shot my teammate so that means that we'll have a free kill on our hands so that is another kill. There's also another tank right here who we should uh, probably deal with relatively quickly. And, uh, yeah, it's that simple. We already have three kills. Ooh, there is actually another tank right here. We'll just quickly get rid of him. Unfortunately, we couldn't save our uh, 2 a fire friend there. Looks like there is a BVM or something in front of us now. Who uh, seems to be very, very eager on pushing us. Which isn't very nice of him. So, uh, yeah, we kind of do have to uh, make sure not to let that happen to us. Unfortunately, he has gotten our track, though. Thankfully, he's in a very exposed area, so hopefully... One of our teammates eventually notices that he exists and, uh, you know, gets rid of him. But we uh, can't be too optimistic right now just because, yeah, we're not exactly in the best of situations. Alright, there we go. Our track is repaired. Now, unfortunately, our, uh, yeah, BVM here has... Popped smoke, which means that I couldn't really get a good shot of him, but it looks like our teammates have done a very good job of uh, getting rid of him there. There is supposedly another tank right here. Uh, I missed, though, because I'm bad at the game. So we do have to wait for another reload cycle. And, uh, oh, I don't know where he's gone. Oh, yeah, okay, I guess I shot a bit too high there. Fair enough. Uh, we'll just have to, uh, yeah, I guess wait for our next chance. Maybe if he backs up a bit more, I'll be able to get another kill on him. There we go. There is one more BVM who had tried to sneak past their spawn. Um, you know, I guess this is spawn camping, but 
since we already have their spawn fully, or I guess all capture zones controlled, I don't think it's exactly something that's completely unethical to do. Uh, I'm going to try and go help out our friendly ZDZ99 here, because it sounds like he is in need of it. Oh, uh, there's also a tank right there, though, so maybe we should not do that too quickly, and instead uh, take a bit of our time here, because we're, like, right in front of their spawn. No, I don't know where this tank is. I definitely do hear him. And I do see him as well, so we'll just go through his form plate, even when he has contact 5. Excellent, okay. And, uh, ooh, there is somebody behind us, but he's unfortunately dead, so we don't get ourselves another kill. I guess now since we're here, we're probably just going to watch this spawn right here, because there really isn't a whole lot else to do. Ooh, this is weird. We actually hear a tank in front of us coming from somewhere that isn't their spawn, but, uh, yeah, unfortunately that doesn't really matter, because we just get rid of him. Just as easily as any other tank. Now there is someone here to the left. I don't quite know where he is, but I think he's dead now. So it doesn't really matter to me. Maybe I can try and go deal with whatever tanks are in their other spawn, because usually that's where tanks spawn in uh, late game, because that other spawn is usually completely like, under someone else's control. Looks like there's a Prince here there. We'll just quickly get rid of him. And uh, yeah, then we'll have to see what tank that is. I'm not sure if that was the only tank I heard here. It might have been. I thought I heard a T-80, but I guess not. Sounds like someone else has also spawned an SBA now, so... I'll just have to wait for his uh, spawn protection to run out, which it, it looks like it has now, so... I'll just finish him off. Back up into the bushes, and hopefully not get shot. Alright, well, it looks like our, ta our, our tanks... Well, yeah, I guess our tanks uh, here on the A-point are having a bit of an issue dealing with uh, whatever is coming out of the enemy's spawn. So maybe we'll try and move towards here again. And we should be relatively undetected here, just because no one really looks over here unless they know I'm here. Which, admittedly, and a lot of people on their team probably do know I'm here, so... Maybe it isn't the smartest thing to do, but... It's better than to just sit somewhere and not do anything. I don't really know where there is one tank. Uh, evidently there was one right there who has uh, now been dealt with. So that's, uh, I guess, good on him. And it looks like, yeah, no, their spawn is just getting spawn killed, so I don't think there's much reason to, uh, yeah, go too crazy on their spawn now. Alright, there we go. There is a 11 kill game. I could have actually spawned in a nuke, maybe. Should have done that. Um, so I guess I didn't. So, uh, yeah, that is a bit unfortunate. Hopefully it was uh, somewhat entertaining, though. Now, here on Tunisia, usually the thing I do is I don't directly go to the C point. However, today I'm going to make an exception, uh, just because I kind of feel like it. Now we are facing mostly a full team of uh, Soviets, probably, with a couple Leopards mixed in. So that might be a bit of an issue when we round this corner, because they are, as far as I know, a bit faster than we are to this zone right here. So uh, we do have to be very careful. We can't really be too, uh, I guess, optimistic when pushing around this corner. I don't know where this guy is going to pop out from. I'm going to assume that he's going to come around this corner right here. So uh, maybe we should just wait. Although it looks like there's only me and this uh, other Abrams here to actually contest the cap. So that isn't too great. But um, yeah, I guess we'll try and make uh, do with what we have. Maybe for now I'll just watch this corner right here. And if someone pushes up, I'll shoot them. And then I'll have to hug this building in front of me. Just because if I don't, then I'll probably get shot by somebody else or that guy right there is what I meant there we go there's a T-80 let's quickly push up now hopefully we are fast enough oh that was extremely close uh, we're gonna have to turn the tank around here and there we go that is how we deal with two tanks at once who don't push at the same time now we do hear like another T-80 somewhere around there so we will go deal with him later on, but let's first capture the zone here. Now, a fun part about this uh, area of the map is that you can actually look right through this little uh, area right here and actually shoot through it as well. And uh, sometimes people don't quite realize that and just kind of push around, thinking they're safe. So hopefully that'll happen here as well. Um, I'm not sure if this T-80 knows that I'm looking right at him. But yeah, no, unfortunately he did not. It looks like they're on the uh, point again. Oh, hello. That is a tank. Let's not show them our, uh, yeah, body too much. I think it 
As far as I know, he's looking right at me. So, you know, that, that isn't too nice. Maybe what I can do, however, if I am smart enough. Oh, no. No. Okay, we run. I was going to say we were going to shoot through that building there, but, um... Yeah, no. Uh, I didn't quite know where he was. Ooh, he did just shoot, though. As far as I know, he did just shoot. So we'll just quickly get rid of him there. And, uh, yeah, there we go. There is hopefully another kill, but it sounds like there is another tank there. So, uh, let's go here a bit more carefully. Alright, there we go. We see what tank is on there. Looks like it's a TAD UK. Problem is, he knows exactly where we are, so we can't be too, uh, yeah, offensive, I guess, when trying to engage him. Don't quite know what he's planning on doing. He's popped a lot of smoke here. So, uh, maybe I'll just try and move around while he's distracted by the artillery, but sadly I can't really see through this area here. So I don't know if he's looking at me or not, and now I don't know where he is at all. Oh, what? Oh my god. Okay, maybe I didn't have to waste 122mm shell on him, but, uh, you know, it's fine. Looks like our Type 10 may be having issues. Oh, never mind. He dealt with the TDU, okay. But now there's a TDU coming from their spawn, so I guess we have to pay attention to that now. Alright, we have captured the zone now. Uh, there aren't really any enemies. Like, I mean, our team's kind of already gone into their spawn, so I don't think there's going to be anyone coming out of there now. But I do hear someone, like, right here. So I will go try and deal with him. I'm not going to go where that Type 10 died, because, well, he died there. And, uh, you know, that wouldn't be too smart to go to the exact same spot. So let's try and maybe move around here and see where that T-80 is. Oh, there we go. Looks like we just heard the uh, T-80 shoot somewhere. Or someone. I think he's down there in the river. So uh, let's go try and... Oh no, he is not down in the river. He is like right there. I'm so terrible at this game. Never have me play it again. Well, oh, thankfully he's also... Uh, a bit unlucky today, and uh, yeah, no, there he goes. Alright, there we go. Guess another round of uh, a win for us. Only five kills, well, guess four and a half kills. I don't really count the milk trick as a full kill, but you know, still, uh, you know, a satisfactory result considering that at times we were outnumbered. Alright, well, hopefully this video was uh, somewhat entertaining for you guys. I mean, the SRB 122B PLSS, I mean, it is one of the best top tier MBTs uh, around. You know, it's got really good armor, it's got really good mobility, it's even got this little uh, funny commander side, which I didn't use this video because I don't find it too useful, but you know, it's cool to have. And uh, yeah, it really is just a better leopard in my opinion, because the shell penetrates really anything it wants to. Uh, it is more than enough for top tier. But anyway, um, hopefully you have enjoyed this video here. Let me know what other vehicles you would like to see in the comments below i try to at least play them if i feel like it um but yeah anyway oh, that's it for me today and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye